So guys, a lot has changed in Britain in the last few weeks. We've had the death of a queen, we've had a new prime minister, and obviously all the pandemic stuff going on. Some are saying one is in, another one out. <laughs> um, I one have not heard that, but no, now I get it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gosh, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, really? Yeah, but, um, <laughs> I pay the big bucks. There you go. So what are we thinking? What do you think about Liz Truss as a new prime minister? Are we happy? You know, if I'm honest, I haven't seen someone with less political talent in my life. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, no, I mean, so honest, because yeah. I just think politicians normally have a kind of, you know, they say like when you get into office, typically you stand like six inches taller. You have like yeah, a bit of a, a glow, a yeah. gravitas. She, she's managed not to get that. And so I, I just, <laughs> I just, I, I struggle to kind of, I just, she just has no talent. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I hate saying that because it sounds like I'm being personal, but I'm mm. not. Yeah. She just strikes me as a very kind of someone having a go, if yeah. you know what I mean. What, yeah. what, I don't know. What do you yeah. think? Uh, for me, I'm a little bit, I'm not sold at all on her. I think I'll start with the fact that um, I remember during the, uh, well, the Ukraine-Russian crisis, we'll call it so, before the war started, yeah. she pretty much incited the flames of the war. I saw, you know, Sergei Lavrov was basically calling her a mad woman. But alongside that, you usually hear about these bright stars within political parties before they become um, politic before they become senior figures. I never heard about Liz Truss until she about made that speech about cheese. Cheese, yeah, yeah. I, I never heard <laughs> but about. But she was her like, and... "British cheese, yeah. it's not been made in Britain." You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that was a heart yeah. string. You know, pulled on the heart strings. Put heart strings, yeah. It's like um, if there was an alien that came to Earth and the human tried to teach her how to speak. Because every gesture is robotic. Everything yeah. is, you know what I mean? Yeah. It just seems like rehearsed. And mm. I don't know too much about her political career beforehand, but I think she was in, what, Lib Dems before she was Yeah, well, yeah. she was young. Yeah, yeah. in yeah. university yeah. time, yeah. yeah. And, you know, people, people's views change, so I can't speak to whether she's abandoned her values, but mm -hmm. it seems like she's really pandering to an audience in order to further her career, like most politicians. Mm -hmm. But it's like, when are we, when are we going to get a politician that's really looking for the broader the good of the country which is outside of just like mm -hmm. economic growth mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. do you know what it is one thing that she does on a kind of rhetorical level is and i saw this when i was watching because i'm that loser that watched all 15 hustings like i watched all the <laughs> yeah i'm just sad though I, I love debates and discussions and stuff like that so I, I was happy to watch it um she speaks slowly and because she speaks slowly it gives the impression of wisdom so she often would be like yeah. you know what we must do is show Putin we're strong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're like, Super that sounds interesting. Yeah. But if you then dial that down, what does it mean show Putin? What, you, what does that mean? Like, yeah. Do you press ups? Like what, yeah. what, what, what does that mean? <laughs> because like we, we've been doing trading words with Putin for years. Yeah. Like yeah. when we saw the annexation of Crimea, that, that, that happened after trading lots of words. And mm -hmm. even right now we're trading lots of words. So like when you, when you kind of drill down on a lot of stuff she says, you realize it's not much, but yeah. I guess in this era yeah. where people say so much, it's yeah. nice to have a kind of slower, paced someone who kind of has the appearance of wisdom and I, I don't know what people but people like it the conservative membership oh, they, they love her because she's saying the right things mm. for that audience yeah, you know, yeah. no I just wanted to say on that maybe the conservative membership love her but I'd really be interested to see if the British public love her does she have a personal mandate Do you think she could to run Kirsten the country um, I think it's bland versus bland if I'm completely honest there's no spice involved <laughs> oh, come on. in it Kirsten starting to do, like he's starting to do better you don't think uh, to the, to the politically trained eye, maybe, yes. But I genuinely think a lot of the public are like, who is this man? What does he stand for? But what must he do? Because people always say, like, we don't know him. I'm like, what do you want, do you want to do? Should he go on Blue Peter? Like, what what, what should he do to get who he, he is across? Uh, well, I think be more vocal. That's not to say he's not vocal now, but he's not vocal enough. I believe for certain issues in, in, pol in politics, he is not the opposition enough. He seems to go a little bit mute when there are actually very important um, topics going like, on. What would you say is like last oh, thing that he should have spoken up on, but he didn't? Uh, Black Lives Matter, if I'm completely honest, I think he got that completely wrong. That was a, that was a car crash. Hold on, I remember him wearing a kente and I remember him taking a knee. Car crash? <laughs> <laughs> when he's with- <laughs> They got that kente made quickly. Yeah, they found yeah. out auntie and they took it yeah. quickly. But mm -hmm. what about that? I mean, he took, people might say he took the knee, like, you know, what else do you want from him? Um, <laughs> Is that the most you can do? do yeah. How many black squares do you post? <laughs> one, just one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think as well, when uh, a lot of the sleeves that was coming out about the Conservative Party, I didn't hear enough of him. I feel like he could have pushed that home a lot more within um, Parliament and he didn't. So I'm 
a little I'm a little bit unsold on him and I don't think he really represents well the Labour Party two or three years ago with Corbyn has like literally gone the completely other way now with him so I think there's a bit of a disconnect between some of his well what would, would be his voters yeah. and himself and his politics I'm keeping quiet on the Keir Starmer track because I think <sighs> oh no you're, you're not funded by Keir Starmer are you? I'm not offended. No, no, you're not, not, offended. not funded by funded. him. Oh, funded, no, not funded. Just ignorant about him, really. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know. But are you ignorant about him because you find you don't you find him boring, or you ignorant about it? What, like, what well, is the I cause? Think, I I'm very selective with the news I read, mm-hmm. um, so I don't just walk around to, like essentially depressed. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's I, I understand it. That explains <laughs> what's going on with yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? Literally. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. Um, and I think I I try and stay you know, updating on current affairs, but I think it's been such a conservative party, like scandal on scandal mm. on another election, this and mm. this. So I've been so entrenched in that, that I've kind of, haven't really looked at Keir Starmer for a while, yeah. mm-hmm. you know? I do, I do wonder though, how, whether people judge Keir Starmer based on other Labour leaders, or they think about the country. Because when people say he's bland and boring, I'm like, I think most of the country, like are similar. Not mm-hmm. bland and boring, but yeah. I mean, they're polite. Yeah. Um, there's this kind of deference that they kind of, and, and there's a kind of, you know, benefit of the doubt that you treat other people mm-hmm. with. I think these are kind of British values, mm-hmm. I, would, yeah. I would think. And so to that end, you know, to I don't know, someone in Devon or someone in Manchester, they might look at him and go, I see a bit of myself, like mm-hmm. a kind of polite guy, not too left, not yeah. too right, kind of in the middle, if you like. Um, and like, he's polite. I just mm-hmm. wonder if, if that's the issue, if we're comparing him to like, you know, a Tony Blair, who we loved until yeah. he lied to us yeah. and carried yeah. us all to a war uh-huh. that we didn't think we needed to go on, or to Donald Trump, who's literally a comic book figure. Yeah. I mean, if you think about politics, he's he's not a real person. Like yeah. stuff he yeah, says, yeah. stuff mm-hmm. he does. So I'm just wondering if we're comparing Keir Starmer to people who are just you know, way out at sea when he, he could never really go. Mm, I, I think if you look at the way politics has gone over the past couple of years, those clown figures who are like caricatures of actual real life yeah, people, yeah, yeah are the, the ones who do quite well. So maybe he does, he needs to model himself to be a little bit more outlandish or brush in some sort so of if, kind of way. So if you could sit down with Keir Starmer, if, if, let's say you were Keir Starmer, I think yeah. you'd look more, the most like him. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a compliment? Joking, 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 joking. Yeah. I'm joking. If, if you were him, what and let's say you could both speak to him, what would you say to him? If, you, if he was like, listen, uh, D'Angelo, listen, yeah. um, uh, uh, Julian, I'm not connecting. Yeah. 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 What do I need to do? What would you say to him? Well, I think maybe I'd echo what you say. I think we, you know, like put on a bit of a performance in a sense. I think- Interesting. Well, I, we, this is so I, fascinating. I would have thought yeah. you guys would want more real policy, but you're like performance. Well, as in, mm. if, you want, if, you, if we're looking for the, how to make the country better, I think, well, we do need better yes. policy and everything else. Yeah. But I think <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it seems like everything nowadays is more about how can you market? How can you sell? Yep. Everything's yep. like social media, for example, has changed the world. And that relies on the superficial, on the cosmetic. How can you, can things seem a certain way? You were saying earlier about Liz Truss has this kind of feigning wisdom. She seems wise. It seems like it's about what you seem. So maybe if I, if whoever's speaking to him, maybe he needs like a PR team or a image consultant mm-hmm. or so, you know, something but like he that. He strikes me as almost like he has too many PR people. And so he's always different things at different right, yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. So there's no they, they need They need to mm-hmm. connect yeah, yeah, and have yeah, one. Yeah. Cause you see, well, even, I mean, I remember I have this image stuck in my head of when Boris Johnson before he was elected, but it was, or well, maybe he was elected, but it was during the Rugby World Cup. And <laughs> oh, he was God. like, he was like, it was like him in front of the TV in like a full England kit. And it, no, it was, like, it was like the Six Nations. That's and he was the there and like trying to pose and he didn't really know what to do. <laughs> you can tell he was trying to be like yeah. PR. And yeah, yeah. Maybe Keir Starmer needs more of that, you know? Funny thing is Keir Starmer is actually a football fan. He's an avid football fan. Oh, right. I think it's Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah. Um, but again, like even football fans don't receive him like that. So he, he, he strikes me like the polite football fan. Yeah, I don't like, think he's taken communion like, with like, the proper football fans. Both, both, both teams did well. Yeah. You know, they're, yeah. they're one of those guys oh, like, yeah. what? we all won really because, because <laughs> yeah. we played the game of football. Yeah. Football's yeah. the real winner, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's him. Yeah. He's the Tottenham fan sat next to the Arsenal fan. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he's, and he yeah. would never yeah. be an Arsenal fan to never, yeah. he just, there, there wouldn't be enough passion. That is not. There's what none. would you say to the Angela to him? You, you want to do press ups or something? Show us these. Uh, show, show, <laughs> yeah, um, I, I feel like my, my first question would be what do you stand for? Mm. K- kind of thing. I feel like he needs to. <laughs> He, he was he's a victim of the fact Boris Johnson was the opposition for a period in time and Boris Johnson was to some people very likeable Keir Starmer it's not that he's not likeable but people don't know enough about him and he needs to put himself out there and become that likeable person because unfortunately politics is no longer about your politics it's no longer about your policies it's about who you are are you likeable can I see mm. some of myself in you can I 
as some people see with Boris Johnson, can I go to the pub and have a drink with you? So, I, but you know, I, I hate, I love that man. The it, fact oh, that, same. Yeah. that that's where we are in British politics, where the golden question is, could I have a drink with him? Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah. bro, the country's on fire. Of course. I need to <laughs> like course. sort things out. Yeah. Why, why do I even have time for a drink? Yeah. Okay, there's yeah. a cost of living crisis going on. Why do I want to have a drink of with somebody? Yeah. I want yeah. you to come up with ideas, rally a group of people together, mm-hmm. and then of like course. get stuff done. Of course. Why, maybe I'm getting too no. passionate, but why well, can't we go back to that? I would love to yeah. write articles about ideas, but oftentimes mm-hmm. all people care about is gaffes. There you go. Like, oh, he said that. Oh, look, he took mm-hmm. the knee. Mm-hmm. Oh, he put, he put the wrong fist up. Mm-hmm. Maybe he yeah. put the right mm-hmm. fist. But yeah. And you're like, this is just annoying. We live yeah. in the age of celebrity. That Unfortunately, we live in the age of, you know, personalities are everything. We live in the age of influences. This is what people This is what people see mm. and perceive now as, as the norm. So you need to have a personality as such. It's unfortunate. And we wish we could find that hard yeah. man that will just say, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to solve the country. But everybody just wants to be that likable person. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Yeah. So it's a depressing place to end. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is what it, it is. is that, yeah. That's yeah. how the cookie crumbles. crumbles literally. Well, it'll be interesting to see what comes of Liz. Of course, she hasn't really had a chance to shine. Literally a few days in, after meeting her, the queen dies, which mm-hmm. is tragic, right? Imagine carrying yeah. that. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, it's a strange ago, coincidence. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's, no, it's, <laughs> it's just a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens with her uh, in the future, I guess. Mm-hmm. Hey, thank you for taking time to watch that video. Here at the Common Sense Network, we thrive on exposing you to different ideas. If you're someone who likes ideas, you like learning new things, hit the subscribe button now and turn on notifications so you're first to hear when we have a new video out.